out here on Lake Nipissing. We're gonna do a budget overnighter. I am way loaded here. I got my big 75 liter backpack, battery pack on the sled. And then I also got my sleigh just completely overloaded. Ratchet strap holding the top down. Bungees, lost a couple on the way here. Set up camp, do some fishing, hopefully catch something and eat some good fish. So nothing fancy wancy. And uh, we're just out to have a good time. Stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. good my camera kit uh, that I have my main camera in it's worth more than my sled uh, must have fell out so and my sled is leaking a bunch of oil so not a good trip um, I'm gonna go try to find my camera case I have to retrace my steps luckily it's bright orange but oh my god uh, this sucks Woo! I got it! we found it I'm gonna go back where we're setting up and uh, continue on with the show moment of truth hopefully everything here is okay it's a little snowy, as you can see. Oh yeah, some snow got inside, but nothing too bad. Okay, let's just continue. about 24 feet um, a little bit deeper than I want but it's getting kind of late so I should probably just set up shop I'll see if we can catch anything okay a uh, quick recap started off kind of jittery we're a little late and I lost my camera bag we're here set up we got a line in the water I'm gonna set up the shock now and just get camp set up I'm trying to stay high spirits you know trying to set up shack and uh, I had a mark fish came up got a nice walleye the keeper he's an eater he'll serve good for dinner tonight well we're having fun you know let's just finish getting set up here Got the heater kind of set up. Yeah, I'm just kind of sweating, running around, trying to get everything all organized. This is my first ice camp of the year. First time I'm doing overnighter in this in this little shack. This is the uh, Eskimo uninsulated tent that I picked up for 100 bucks, and I added a bunch of uh, Reflectix all over here, and just uh, try to keep it a little bit toastier. Tonight is only supposed to get down around minus eight. Uh, we started off in the morning like minus 30 with the wind chills. Um, I'm hoping for an easy semi-comfortable night. I have a line in the water. I got food for tonight. I got my walleye. Almost all set up here. Just some cleaning up to do and then uh, we'll hang in tight for the evening. <sighs> Sun is going down pretty quickly. It is a beautiful night. Not too windy, not too cold. This uh, ice camping thing is, um, it's a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, okay.
So I have the diesel heater ticking away now. What I do is I route the hot air in through the door and then I return through the window. So it's recirculating the hot air that's already heating so it doesn't have to run as hard. I know these things run more efficiently if you keep the whole unit inside, but I just like the fact that the exhaust is outside. I don't have any worries about this thing running. I only have five liters of fuel. Hopefully that makes it through the night. I've had trouble before where I had it running all day. It ran out early morning. I think we just made it in the nick of time to get everything set up for the evening. Uh, yeah, basically just enjoying the sunset here on Lake Nipissing. You can see the city, North Bay. Beautiful city, right down there. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's dinner tonight. Nice walleye caught while I was frantically trying to set up. Oh, we got fish on my line here, so. Let's see if I can set this up and also get this fish. All right, so now that we have everything set up, I think we're good. Uh, marking tons of fish, which is, which is fun. That's good. And I'm glad we got an eater right away. So it gives me something to do later tonight. Here we are. I had bought Reflectus for a previous project and I'd never ended up using it. So I cut up a bunch of pieces and layered it everywhere I can to hopefully try and make it a little bit more insulated. It may not make a huge difference. I'll take every little bit that I can. An old camping cot, I got a sleeping bag, sleeping pad. I got the Vever diesel heater hooked up to my little Paco battery pack. I made a video last year on that thing, uh, just how I built everything and how I set up. My, my goal for today, I guess, for this video is uh, to do sort of a budget ice camp. I just decided to, you know, pack up everything that I have on store. Definitely isn't the most efficient process. I definitely uh, take having the electric auger for granted and a bigger sleigh. I do have a better camping cot than this one, but it doesn't fit in the shack, so I had to use this old one that's not gonna be quite comfortable, but <laughs> we'll make do. So lighting wise, I got a headlamp and I got two spotlights above my head. Hopefully they last the night. We'll see what happens. Ah, anyways, cheers. I have a beer somewhere. Yeah. You know what? I think it is time to crack open a cold snack. Cheers. And here's to a good night. Man, the dog's behind me. I don't know if you can hear them. They're just crazy. There's a lot of fish. Then you can kind of see where I am just bobbing up and down there. And everything else is just fishies. I'm so lucky I found my camera case. Holy. Oh, like that, that would have been bad. That would have been really bad. Definitely lesson learned. Um, even if you have a cover on your sleigh, don't take it for granted that something can fall out. I had it covered and I had bungee straps going across. I'm glad I put it in the big case though. I always uh, go back and forth whether I should put my gear in that big Pelican case. It's like way overkill, right? Cause it's like waterproof and resistant, weather resistant and everything. Um, but, oh, there we go. Push on. Oh yeah, that's another nice walleye. Right on, right on the frostbite dinner bell. There you go. Uh, where's my cleaning cloth? Just having a good time. Another walleye down there already. All right, let's get uh, my bed set up. Sleeping pad check. I think we're good. Should be good. Sleeping bag loft up and oh, that's a lot better. Oh yeah. Hope everyone enjoyed their New Year's and had a good holiday. I definitely did. Jensen is uh, nine months now and he's just starting to take his first steps and walk and stuff, so it's really exciting. Another fish on. This one's definitely fighting more. Oh, another walleye, and he just splashed me on his way back down. <laughs> Welcome to Lake Nipissing. Oh, purple dinner bell. All right, I got another one on. Hopefully I don't lose it at the holes, huh? This uh, is fighting a little bit more. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a nice walleye. 
Right on. Night bite is real on Lake Nipissing. Here we go. All right, that is uh, three, that's four on the board now. Oh, I'm having fun. I now have my other line in, which is just a jig and a minnow. And, oh, there we go. It doesn't feel too heavy, but it's not fighting as much. Oh yeah, just a little walleye. Just a little guy. That was a little guy we were teasing on the bottom. All right, he's going back. Ah. The boot rod holder? That's kind of a good idea now, isn't it? All right, so in case you're curious, I'm connected to the battery which is running the heater right now. It's the CanBat 50 amp hour lithium battery. It has a Bluetooth chip, so I can connect using my phone. So you're sorry, if I keep looking down, it's just because I'm distracted. I, I keep seeing some fish here on my display and my line's kind of bobbing a bit. But, so right now, the heater on the lowest setting is running about one amp to 0.9 amps. The program is basically estimating that I have like another 49 hours of runtime on low. So that's definitely more power than I need for tonight. The battery's reading about 2.9 to 3 degrees Celsius, which is in line because it is down in the ground on the snow here underneath my cot. And then up here, the display of the diesel heater is reading about six to five degrees. The diesel heater and the shack is definitely doing a good job at keeping it warm. I'm comfortable right now just in my heavy clothing and it should be good for the night. So yeah, that's a, it's a great little setup and um, it's a nice dry heat and I'm not worried about carbon monoxide or anything like that because the whole unit, all the combustion is all outside. So yeah, um, let's, uh, let's try to get some fish here. I'm, uh, I definitely see it. Oh, the other line is going. Oh. And the camera is right underneath it, but right over top of it. So, I apologize this is a little awkward. I hope I don't end up bumping my camera down into the water. Ooh, another walleye. And ladies and gentlemen, we got another little walleye. Awesome. Can I put it back? Got another one down there. It is fishy tonight. Wow. So, this line, just using a pink jig head with the minnow. It's just kind of a coincidence that both my things are pink right now. Um, but they seem to be hit again, so I'm <laughs> I'm not changing it. <laughs> I'm content with that. Time to fry up some dinner. Gotta clean it first. <laughs> well, I didn't really think that one through, did I now? It was like completely frozen. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to wait a bit. <laughs> Keep it near the heater. Yeah, um, I don't know why I left the walleye outside. Definitely not my smartest move. I'm <laughs> trying to defrost it a bit here so we can uh, fry him up. <laughs> Jesus. I got some trusty catch and cook, got some beer. I'm gonna do up a little beer batter fish fry. I'm not gonna need a lot because I don't really have that much. That is honestly worth all the trouble. 
today. That's why we do it. Yeah, it's good. I really like the spicy catch and cook. It has a little bit of a bite to it, um, aftertaste, but it's not over the top. It doesn't make you go like reaching for your drink or anything. It just has a nice little subtle spicy flavor at the end. On that note, check the link down below in the description. I am an affiliate for Catch and Cook. Jay Simmons and Josh McFads run it together. I know Jay obviously because I help him with uh, Uncle Mark's outpost build. Um, yeah, link down below, 10% off, Catch and Cook. Can't recommend it enough. So before I forget, I remembered I just brought some Frank's Red Hot Thicks Buffalo Ranch. And this stuff pairs really well with a walleye. Fresh, beer battered walleye. Walleye's camping. Yum. Now that it's getting dark, I think we're going for some bourbon, some ling. Try fishing the bottom of the lake, see if we can get something sneaky sneaky. Well, it's about nine o'clock now. The wind has definitely picked up. Watch my graph, having a jolly good old time. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's, uh, she's windy. I'm glad I have everything anchored down. <laughs> yeah, fishing kind of slowed down a bit, but that's expected. I'm just kind of pounding the bottom now to try to get some burbot. Yeah, I'm gonna make some dessert, and I always like to treat myself on little outings like this with some hot chocolate. You can always say that little taste of cocoa just before bed and stuff just makes a world's difference. So let's uh, fire the burner up, make some hot chocolate. the water to a boil. I'm just so used to backcountry camping where you have to boil the water you, you get. So it's gonna last a long time. It'll be really warm in here, but oh well, it'll be good. Steamy. Let that cool down for a bit. I have confidence in our shack setup, so no need to worry for the shock blowing away or anything. Here, let me turn some lights on there. Well, that's better now, isn't it? Got guy lines out on all four corners and I got all my four anchors down, so hopefully she stays put. I'll see a fish. Does he see me? That is the question. Do not see him anymore. Therefore, maybe he does not see me anymore. Something definitely, something's definitely chasing me. No, it doesn't look big, but. I do not have bait anymore. I was robbed. <laughs> well then. But I still see something on bottom. So we're going down to check it out. I'll keep you updated if I catch anything. For clothing, I didn't pack anything besides uh, what I'm wearing and two extra pairs of socks. Socks are the killer. If you get them wet, wet feet, no bueno. Always want dry feet. And cooking my first meal from a Japanese grocery, so can't wait it. I mean, what else are you gonna do when the fishing's slow? <laughs> I'd say the uh, evening bite is pretty slow. I haven't gotten anything in the last couple hours. There's been some marks and stuff, but uh, honestly, nothing's really hitting, so. Nestled in for the night. It's about 11.30 now, so I should probably go to bed because I have to work in the morning. On that note, uh, good night, and I'll see you in the morning. Diesel heater's doing good. Just ticking away. I might just leave it on low from personal experience and 
this is just what's juggling in my brain right now is I'd rather be a little bit chillier tonight like overall but have still a decent level of comfort versus more comfort right now run out of fuel at like four or five in the morning I've had that happen before and it cools down really quickly and that's uh, kind of a not a great way to wake up so thermostats reading about like 10 degrees Celsius and honestly you know with the minus 16 degree bag I think I'll be fine for tonight so yeah anyways have a good night see you in the morning Actually, it was pretty good. It was a good night. Well, I still got like uh, it's like 6:30 right now. I have about 15 minutes until daylight. Um, so I'm, <laughs> might as well do some fishing. I'll just take my time. Uh, see if there's a morning bite. Yeah, it was a good night. I had a decent sleep. I think I kept worrying about the diesel heater running out of fuel. Uh, I haven't gone and check how much I got left but right now I'm just kind of running out on medium high now just just to get some extra heat now I got some peak refuel breakfast skillet I had this in my cupboard for a really long time so I figured now it might be a good time to use it it's probably one of the most expensive breakfasts I've ever eaten this is $18.95 is what I paid for this we're gonna fire up the grill here and uh, I'm a Cook this up, make some coffee, and then we should be good to tackle on our Monday. Not bad. It's not great. Today it doesn't feel like this is a $20 meal. Maybe if I was in the bush for eight days. This is the Deeper Chirp Plus 2 Smart Fishing Bobber. They have a couple other different models. And I've been really happy with this. I, I can't say it enough. It's not a gimmick. I love how versatile it is and how little and compact it is. I just use my old cell phone. Everyone has an old cell phone. I just usually bring an extra power bank just to keep the power to the cell phone because it does, the app unfortunately does use a lot of the battery on the cell phone, but honestly with a little Amazon power pack, it just runs forever. This bobber specifically, the battery lasts over 15 hours. We've been out for almost 14 hours now and the bobber is at 33, percent I didn't have it running all night I love the fact that it's versatile because in the summertime I use it with my canoe if I'm just going shore fishing or I'm traveling somewhere I bring this with me and it's just super compact and I, I love it um, obviously if you have a boat and stuff everyone has the helix and they just get the ice deucer and all that but for if you don't have a boat and you like to do kayak or canoe fishing I mean I, I suggest checking this out it's it's awesome it's not a gimmick it's super responsive. The app is out of this world, works really well, and it connects almost instantly. And it's all wireless. So yeah, just thought I'd bring that up. They make a little mount, flex mount that goes to your canoe, or you can screw in a little tether that you can actually cast out from shore. Check out Deeper Sonar. I got a link down below. And uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. You might have a fish here. And if you don't like using electronics while fishing, that's all the power to you. Alright, 
that's about it for me. It was a good, quick overnighter ice camping on a budget. We caught some fish, ate some fish, lost the camera, found the camera. And most importantly, we were dry. We lived, we survived. I enjoyed myself, it was a lot of fun. So thanks for tuning in. As always, stay tuned and on to the next one. Thank <laughs> you.